Hello, this is Dr. Claudine Raura, the Fat Sucker, and welcome to my channel. Today is surgery day. Uh, we're going to be doing today fat grafting. From the previous uh, videos, we discussed fat grafting for the under eyes. Okay, that's the nano fat. Now we're gonna be doing more of a body work today. We're gonna be doing the BBL, okay, that Brazilian butt lift. So when we do the BBL, uh, basically, essentially, it's getting fat from other parts of the body and transferring it to the butt. We do the BBL or any form of fat transfers. The best harvest site is actually the abdomen. Uh, the next site that is good for fat transfers is actually the inner thighs. When we do the, the fat transfers, okay, first we, also, we harvest, okay, we harvest the fat. We harvest the fat through a liposuction procedure, okay. Uh, in our case, we always use that machine over there, okay. That one is the vaser. We harvest. We put it in fat harvesting canisters. Okay? We put it there and then um, we wash it and then we remove the excess fluid and then we transfer them to syringes and then we inject. Okay, now for the butt, okay, it depends on the case. Normally, we actually put in around uh, 350 cc per butt. Again, depending on the case. If the butt is a bigger butt and if it can accommodate more fat, we can go as high as 400, 500, and 600 mils wow. per butt. Basically, when you actually inject the fat, it's actually it's a multi-layer. The deeper layers actually is actually near the muscle, near the gluteus muscles, where where the fat uh, get more uh, blood supply. And you do do it in layers, in layers, okay, deep, intermediate and into the superficial plane. Yes, okay, when you do the breast fat grafting, we actually also put it in different layers. Okay, for the breast, we put it deep, okay, deep above the muscle, into the, behind the breast, and into the breast tissue, and again, superficially into the subcutaneous tissue. Uh, people would ask now, how much uh, volume of fat can we put? But this is not an implant. Okay, when you put implants to the butt or to the breast, you can go as big as you want. But in this case, we are actually uh, injecting fat. Okay? Fat is your fat cells. Okay? These are live tissues. Okay, so they need to get blood supply from the surroundings so that they can actually survive. Uh, so it's not actually volume. So, our main goal is actually for the fats to survive. And how do we do that? One, definitely you need a good harvest site, which is your abdomen and inner thighs. Okay? Number two, the recipient area okay, should be handled very well. Okay? So, you, when you, it's the butt or it's the breast, you actually inject, as again, in layers. And when you actually inject, even if it's in layers, when you inject the fat, you inject it a bit by bit. You don't push the fat like in one whole area. As our mentors say, you make pearls and not lakes. That means you put uh, globules of fat into the recipient site, okay, slowly, and you don't push it in just one go. Okay, because as I said, uh, objective here is actually more of a fat graft survival. Fat graft survival is around, oh no, more or less around 70%. When you say 70%, for example, since the fat that we actually inject is actually in liquid form, Okay? It still has your fluids in there, it has your blood, it has other dead tissues, uh, fibrous yeah. tissues. This in total, it gets absorbed. Okay? And then what is left is actually your surviving fat globules. Now for the fat graft survival around 70%, when we say 70%, for example, as I said, when you inject um, 100 ml of liquid fat, okay? Around 70% of it, like around 70 mils, will actually uh, survive. Most operatively, ideally, there should be less pressure on the areas that we did the fat grafting. Okay, so but I mean personally, I don't actually give a very very strict uh, restrictions on their uh, position because others would suggest like. You know, sleep on your belly, okay, don't sleep on your butt. Now, by experience, of, or for over 12 years, I don't give much restrictions on this. But however, my fat graft still actually survives. <laughs> now, when the fat graft survives, okay. so your fat cells actually have a new home, okay? So you transfer it from the abdomen, you put it into the butt. People would ask me, Doc, does it actually melt out, okay, when you actually do diet and exercise? It's fat. So when it is fat, of course, and it becomes naturally a part of you, naturally, when you gain weight, the fat cells store more fat. When you lose weight, definitely, they will actually shrink. So it's natural. That's, that's actually how it is. Okay, now we're actually doing the lipo. So, and we are actually harvesting fat. We go to the bottle. We wash it. We process it. We filter it a little bit, and then later, we'll be doing the injections. We'll transfer them to syringes, 
And then we're gonna be doing the injection to the butt and to the hip area. Mm -hmm. Already harvested fat from her. And this is the fat earlier. Okay, and this is the other one as well. Mm -hmm. Earlier it was like a little bit bloody. And now, so already we, are, we washed it several times with uh, saline. And we are transferring to syringes. Then we're actually ready to transfer and inject into the body, wherever you want. Okay, so again, this is your macro fat. Macro fat for the body, for the breast, for the butt, for the hips. And then when you want to do for the face, it's still the same fat. We have to micronize to convert your macro fat to your micro fat and then to your nano fat. So that's a different story. Okay, for now, it's macro. Breast, butt, and hips. So our incision points are here. This is our fat. We inject. We inject deep. Okay. When you actually feel that it's a little bit gritty, you're actually almost on the muscle. Okay. So you inject retracted. So we're finished on the right. We actually injected around 360 60 cc of fat here. We're going to be doing the same on here on the other side. Now the thing is, another quote is that it doesn't have to be very tight because when, when you inject the fat and it's the area is very tight, uh, it suffocates the fat. It won't get enough blood supply, it won't get, get enough oxygen. It will most probably just die. Denied. Okay, we are finished with her BBL. Fat transfers to the butt. This is actually how she looks like and if we put it from here going there to watch more videos please click that button down there and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the Fat Soccer channel. And again, this is the Fat Soccer, Dr. Claudine Rora saying, see you in our next episode. Bye-bye.